Mr. Bones, you have ice cream. You have to be having fun. Yeah. Ice cream is the best. I love ice cream. I love being here. I love Halloween, Stevens. My, my absolute favorite time of the year. It really is. Isn't it yours, David? I love Halloween. David is a big pumpkin enthusiast, I, I happen I do, to know. I lots of things about pumpkin. Mm. That's right. Uh, uh, say you have a broken pumpkin. Oh, no. It's terrible. Well, how do you fix a broken pumpkin? How do you fix a broken pumpkin? Use a pumpkin patch. But what if it's nighttime and you can't see what you're doing? What do you do? Well, you jack a lantern. <laughs> jack a lantern. Really nailing it here. You really are. And then you have all these pumpkins and you set them up in a beautiful display. Oh, how nice. And it looks gorgeous. Ooh. This, next, this next song's gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's one of our favorites from our childhood. That's right. That's right. It's about our favorite friends of all shapes and sizes. It goes a little something like this. Teach 
you Thank you. We love Pokemon. Any other Pokemon lovers out there? Anybody at all? I love them. Just right. the best. On the count of three, name your favorite Pokemon. One, two, three. Charizard. I agree. I agree. That's mine as well. In fact, David likes Pokemon so much, he can make the sound of any Pokemon. Any Pokemon. Name a Pokemon. I guarantee he can do it. Go ahead. Who's got one? Jigglypuff. I have no idea if that's right, but I liked it. That was amazing. It was really, so right. I really did. I tell it you was what. so right. How could it be wrong? Hey, let's feature David in this. In the, David. David. This, this is my friend David. Uh, let's feature David in this next song. We're going to pay a little tribute to Mr. Johnny Cash. <laughs> Can you do a backflip? I think I heard that. A backflip? One, two, three. No. Maybe not. But Steven is really smart. He's super smart. He's always learning new things. Isn't that right, Steven? I am. I am. He's going to school, learning a bunch of stuff. He's taking like a math class, a history class. You know, at math class, I actually learned about the guy who invented the number zero. Wow. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> well, I learned something recently about the, the guy who invented the shovel. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It was groundbreaking. Really digging yourself a hole on that one. Yeah. Oh, but he could never run for politics, though. How come? Yeah, too much dirt on him. 
Let's get scary with our next song instead of all these jokes. What do you guys say? We're going to do a spooky couple of tunes. We hope you enjoy them. We might need your help. So listen up. You'll know what we're talking about, right, David? Absolutely. Deo, mi sedeo, daylight come at me one go such good shape if there's a problem. I tell you what, hey everyone, this is my friend Connor. Connor's singing those really high tenor notes. Connor's actually the funniest guy in the group. It's true. true. That's right, he's got all the best jokes. I, I do have the best jokes, like, for instance, a Halloween-themed joke. Uh, what does it take to be a good zombie? I don't know, what does it take to be a good zombie? A lot of dedication. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. I like that. Thanks. That was, good. that was a very, very... Now I'm thinking about all the bad jokes that I said. Yeah. <laughs> and how this one was so much better than that one? Yeah, yeah. we were schooled a little bit. It was very nice of you. Thank well, you. I, uh, I love a good joke. Oh, that's true. In fact, it feels like love's in... Who's in love? Let me just show hands. Who's in love? You're in love? Oh, how nice. That's so love. We're all kind of in love, right? Makes you sit back and wonder, how deep is, is your love, really? <laughs> Wish we had a song that went along with that. Okay. What a segue. <laughs> I know your eyes in the morning sun I feel you touch me in the pouring rain And the moment that you wander far from me I wanna feel you in my arms again And you come to me on a summer breeze Keep me warm in your love and then 
softly leave And it's me you need to show How deep is your love? How deep is your love? How deep is your love? I really need you Thank you. How deep is your love? I tell you. I've been in love a very long time. I've been happily married for, for seven years. Wow. Yeah, all told it's been 14, but seven really good ones. No, you know, it goes up and down. There's lots of ups and downs in a relationship. Am I, am I right, David? Yeah, lots. In fact, right now we're having some financial difficulty. It's been kind of rough, but I felt like I wanted to do a nice thing for my wife. So I, I was, we're walking down the street and I said, anything you want, if you see it, point at it. It's yours. Okay. Nice guy, right? Yeah. So we came up on this window. She saw this beautiful fur coat. She said, I really want that fur coat. Yeah, so I picked up a brick. I smashed out the window. I gave her the fur coat. I'm a nice guy. Super nice guy. We kept walking. Oh, yeah. She wanted this, uh, this, this really nice TV that was in the display yeah. there. So I grabbed a brick. I threw it and I gave her the TV. She's holding Super nice guy. She's very strong. Very strong. <laughs> we kept walking. She saw this million dollar diamond ring. I mean, the nicest ring you ever saw in your life. She yeah. said, oh, oh, I really want that ring. I said, what am I, made of bricks? <laughs> Bricks, because I... That's a reasonable question. Yeah, she didn't like that response either. No, she didn't. She actually left me. She left me. She moved to Switzerland. Everyone go, oh, It was so sad. She went all the way to Switzerland. She said, if you love me enough, you'll come here with me. So every day I'm at home thinking, do I stay here? Do I go to Switzerland? Do I, do I stay here? Do I go to Switzerland? You know, I mean, the, the flag's a big plus. <laughs> Thank you. It's back. That's right. That's a, you have to know your flags to get that one. Well, so. my wife and I, we haven't been experiencing so many ups and downs. All right. So we've been married for almost five years. Oh, now. congratulations. Thank nice. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, when we first got married, I took her to Italy. Oh. And for her fifth wedding anniversary, I'm going to bring her back. <laughs> True love, everyone. Yeah, we love a good love story and a good song. This next song, one of our favorites, it's going to feature my pal here, David, and one of his very unique skills. That's right. Come on, come on, turn the radio on It's Friday night and I won't be long Gotta do my hair, put my makeup on It's Friday night and I won't be long Till I hit the dance floor, hit the dance floor I got all I need No, I ain't got cash, I ain't got cash But I got you, baby Tonight, I love cheap thrills. And I don't need no one. Hey, as long as I can 
Actually, uh, he's got a, quite a few Halloween jokes. Some of the best I've ever heard. That's true. Uh, you know, I love Mr. Bones. I'm sure everybody else here loves Mr. Bones. You know, she's always so happy, right? So so happy. But skeletons really aren't always so happy, are they? In fact, they're very sad because of the things they can't do. In fact, why didn't the skeleton cross the road? Why? Because he didn't have the guts. Ooh. <laughs> it's true. Ooh. And why didn't the skeleton go for a night in the town? Why? He had nobody to go with. <laughs> So he just stayed at home and ordered some takeout. What did he get? Spare ribs. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. You can never have enough. That, that, that put a bit more of a smile on his face. It was. That's true. Yeah. Well, you, you like skeletons, but I, I like other monsters that go to Halloween parties. And there was a, there was a party that I was invited to, and, but by the time I got there, there was no food left. Really? Yeah, there was no food left after the monster party. Why not? Well, everyone there was a goblin. <laughs> Goblin. I have really good news, fellas. We're going to do another song. This is one of our very favorite songs. We're going to close out this set with a little throwback to our childhood for real. This is all of it. All of it. One of our very favorite songs. We're going to be right back out here a little bit later. Stay tuned for more fun and magic. We'll see you soon. Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, airplanes, it's a duck blur. Might solve a mystery or rewrite history. Duck tales, every day they're out there making duck tales. Tales of daring, do bad, and good luck tales. When it seems they're headed for the final curtain wow. Deduction never fails, that's for certain The worst of messes become successes DuckTales Every day they're out there making DuckTales Tales of daring Do 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 danger lurks behind you. There's a stranger out to find you. What to do? Just grab onto some ducktails. Every day they're out there making ducktails. Tales of daring, do bad and good luck tales. Pony tales or cotton tales, but ducktails. Wow. Hey, thank you so much, everyone. We are Bank of Harmony. Stay tuned for more amazing magic right up here on stage. Until we meet again, bye-bye. Enjoy, Mr. Bones. Yeah.